Greetings Ninjago fans, it's me Gizmo, hey do you recognize me? I don't know if you know this but Ninjago is about to be 10 years old that's insane to think about. None of the other LEGO themes lasted that long. All of them either lasted 3 seasons, or just cancelled. But Ninjago surpassed all of that, it ended on season 2 it got rebooted and after that it just keeps on going with no problems whatsoever. Until the day of the departed, and this is just my point of view. That TV special is pretty bad, if only the Hagaman brother didn't leave the story after season 6. My theory on why LEGO continued making Ninjago without the Hagaman brother. LEGO needed to sell some more sets so they can make the Ninjago movie. So they had to make one TV special and a season. For me that's the point where Ninjago went downhill. Plus the Ninjago movie, to me it was a good movie. Until they released the sneak peek to season 8, the Ninjago movie changed everyone's look and now I am just disappointed. Irijitsu just disappeared, the ninjas changed their appearance because of business strategy. Think about it the Ninjago movie gave a big boost to the Ninjago franchise. So in order for kids to get hooked up with the TV show, they have to look like the ones from the movie plus they get to save money on making new pieces and face prints. Well enough of my controversial thoughts this isn't what the video is about. Today I am giving my thoughts on what they should do for Ninjago's 10th anniversary. First of all, stop making a lot of weird oh things. The one thing they should get right for this season is, one the characters. Why? Because in the good old days of 2015, Kai promised Lloyd that he'll look after him, but I have never seen him put his life for Lloyd. I really thought that they would do something with that, and can we please stop with the fake out death please I am pretty much sick of it. The first one is with Sensei, Master, Wu, and then with Pither, actually if Master Wu can survive from being digested then Pither can too so maybe scratch Pither off. Then it was Zane, that was executed very well I can tell you that in his death affected the other ninjas in the next season. But oh boy they had to do it again in season 8, why is it always him that gets a death all the time and gets resurrected? And even the overlord got brought back and decoded but he still gets killed off anyways. The next fake out death goes to Cole, that is not fun in fact this season isn't really fun at all it's just too quick. If only they could have made some I don't know, tragic, take some risk. Might killing off Cole make all the other characters feel sad, or give him another power, maybe his ghost powers return, when he fell off the destiny bounty. I could literally make a whole video on fake out deaths, but I don't want to and you guys get what I am saying right? If you're going to make it, make it sadder and interesting or take the risk come on. Can I talk about how they should stop making fillers that are just too painful to watch? I remember one of the director or writer I am not sure, aforementioned something about making the episodes 11 minutes long, which means more story. But all I am seeing is a bunch fillers and cringy worthless episodes, it makes me mad. Now you see where I am getting at, in the next season they should not make any bad filler episodes full of nonsense like... My now what I want to see in the next season is what happened with Pither and Garmadon. I don't care if they aren't the main villain, just tell us what happened to them. And you know let's give them an idea for a filler before they decide to make ridiculous fillers. Do you guys remember that episode in season 2, where they talked about what happened in the past? Yeah I want that as the next filler, but not as a whole episode dedicated for chit chatting about what happened in the last seasons just seeing them being reminded of the past. But if they are dedicated to make an 11 minutes episode then make it worth my time, maybe how Avatar handled it by letting the characters react to what they have done in the past. What? Well I guess that's all that I've got to say for the 10th anniversary season of Ninjago. Just a note I didn't make this to say that Ninjago is getting worse, there are some good episodes. I am just giving my ideas and commenting so they can improve the episodes. Hit the like if you liked it, dislike if you don't agree, and comment what you want to see in the 10th anniversary of Ninjago maybe a set. I didn't touch on that so comment down on what legacy sets they should make. Oh yeah there is another thing that will turn 10 this year. I think I should do a let's. Wait I haven't finished the other Pokemon let's play. I knew Well alright Siri, with your voice I know people are gonna watch this video.